Good morning, ladies. Well, for some of you, it's more like the afternoon. Uh, so sorry this is coming out a little bit late, but I had the post written up and I just didn't feel like it had the right passion and it wasn't coming across the way I wanted it to, so I wanted to just talk to you. Um, I like to just talk to people <laughs> instead of just posting stuff and posting pictures all the time. So I thought it'd be refreshing to have a video just so that we could see each other, see each other. So today we wanted to talk about a health bucket list. This is something that I just kind of invented on my own and started uh, when when I started my journey and when I was just getting like excited and just dove in and like had that passion um, for my health and fitness journey. I just wrote out a bucket list of things that I wanted to accomplish. Um, they weren't all, some of them were like kind of goals and some of them were things that I just always wanted to do, but I let my size or my lack of health hold me back. Um, and so I just made the list and it's been really, really fun to like check off the list because then it's not something that's based off of um, size or weight. It's based off of seeing the interchange in me. And when people talk about like how I'm shining now when I do my transformation posts or that I'm beaming or that I have so much more confidence, it's these things that I'm doing from the bucket list that bring about that confidence. Uh, for example, one of the things on my bucket list was to um, hike the Grand Canyon. And that's something that a few years ago, I didn't think it was even a possibility. Um, I mean, I didn't even think I could, like it would have been hard for me to walk around the rim, um, like not taking a shuttle before. Honestly, that's how um, unhealthy I was. Even with like doing some exercises here and there and going to the gym here and there, it was difficult for me. And so the concept of hiking down and out of the Grand Canyon in a day, 17 and a half miles, 433 flights of stairs. Um, that's with like small breaks. That's not breaking it up over time. It felt kind of impossible. But I wrote it down anyway, because when you allow yourself to dream big, you can aspire to something higher. Um, don't not write it down just because you think it's impossible, because I thought that was impossible and I just did it on Saturday. And I just got my sneakers on for the first time since then. <laughs> but I don't regret one minute of it. It was um, amazing, an amazing experience. Um, I felt so close to Jeff, I felt close to God, I felt, it was almost like a whole day of meditation and reflection and um, it's hard to even describe, it was so wonderful. Um, I'm even getting choked up just thinking about it, I'm not even a crier. But I want that for you, I want you to know what it feels like to do something you promised yourself you, you would do, to do something that you are scared to do, uh, scared to even admit that you want. It's okay to want big things. It's okay to want things for yourself. That doesn't make you a selfish person. So today I wanna to see your bucket list. Um, Katie mentioned, for example, I hope you don't mind I'm calling you out, Katie, um, that you wanted to um, run some races, especially in uh, memory of your father, who was a wonderful, wonderful man, and who ran um, marathons, I believe, right? Um, and you know, you probably are thinking that that is a huge thing, and uh, but you can totally do it. Um, you could run ultra marathons, 100 mile races. I know you could do it. It might seem like that's something impossible, but you can do it. All of you can. You can do whatever you want to do. The key is wanting it bad enough and committing to doing it. Um, I also wanted to go rock climbing, um, and we actually ended up doing bouldering, which I think is personally harder. <laughs> than rock climbing with a harness. Um, I'm afraid of heights, like terrified of heights, but I still did it because it was something I wanted to do. And um, I wanted to run a 5K. So not only am I running a 5K in July, but I'm doing a Tough Mudder where you have to like run this obstacles course and then there's all these like things you have to do. I'm 5'2". I don't have much like like upper body strength. like, <laughs> And I'm terrified. But... I'm gonna feel really good after I tried. And um, I climbed Humphreys Peak. I didn't get to the top because I had a horrible, horrible asthma attack. That's another story. But I got higher than I've ever been in my entire life. Um, 10,000 feet above sea level um, hiking. Um, and I did it in a good amount of time too. So I was proud of that. I want to see, and it can be, some of them are size based for me. I never thought I would get under a size 16. So when I got into a size 14, I bawled my eyes out. 
And it wasn't necessarily about the size because I believe you can be beautiful at any size, but it was about, I didn't feel healthy at a 16 and I felt like it was hard, too hard for me to do the things I wanted to do and I wasn't progressing with my fitness journey as much until I got that extra weight off. Um, once I got that extra weight off, I was able to plank for an extra minute. So it does make a difference with your fitness. So um, it doesn't all have to be like action-based. It doesn't even have to be necessarily uh, fitness-based. One of the things I wanted to do was, um, this is kind of sad, I wanted to get, uh, I wanted to get a family picture taken. And to hang it on my wall. Because for years, I would get our picture taken and then I wouldn't hang it up because I was so ashamed of what I looked like. And I felt like I didn't match my family. So I have pictures up now I take pictures with my kids. I didn't even blink when when Jeff was taking my picture on our hike. It's just, it's a completely different life. And that's what I want for you. I want you to not cringe when you see pictures of yourself. I want you to look forward to things. I want you to not hold yourself back. Um, I stopped singing in church solos. I stopped playing my flute in front of people because I didn't want to be up in front of people. I never felt beautiful. I didn't feel comfortable in a dress. Is there a dress or a pair of jeans that you want to wear? Have that as one of your bucket lists. And this can be as long as you want it to be. Um, this is a personal thing. You don't have to share it if you don't want to, but I know that this is a safe place and I hope that you feel that, you feel that here and that you can share. So comment below with things from your bucket list. And um, I'm gonna be adding more stuff to mine because I've done a bunch of them. And I'll show you some of the stuff that I have done. And um, uh, sorry to get all emotional, <laughs> but uh, I want this for you and I know that you can do it. So don't be afraid to dream big. So I look forward to reading your stuff and I will talk to you ladies later.